This week in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars producer Simon Emanuel lets the Porg out of the bag. There's a new tactical Star Wars game coming, and Daisy Ridley wants her co-star back. Is that a bench? Everything is not ideal. We're in agreement on that one. Daisy Ridley says that she wants John Boyega back in the Star Wars universe. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Daisy was asked if Finn should be in the New Jedi Order, and quote, Absolutely, of course. John Boyega has recently thawed to the idea of a Finn return, saying in 2023 that he was open to all opportunities. John Boyega initially swore off Star Wars after Disney's lack of response to racist comments online. However, he has since said that he feels the studio has improved its approach. Let's hope that Daisy can talk him into it. Star Wars producer Simon Emanuel slipped up big time in an interview with SFX Magazine. The James Mangold Star Wars movie was thought to have the working title of Dawn of the Jedi, but Emanuel called it Jedi Prime more than once. Jedi Prime? You may be asking yourself, what's that? Well, on Ahch 2, near the grounds where Rey was trained in The Last Jedi, lies a mosaic. The Prime Jedi is the centerpiece of this ancient artwork. The only other time it's brought up is in the various reference books. The Jedi Prime is supposedly the first Force user who initially built the temple on the island where Luke eventually takes refuge. It looks like Mangold might be intending to go to Ahch 2, so you know what that means. More Porgs. What's that? Thrawn's a chump and you could have totally beaten those rebels on Lothal if you'd had a Star Destroyer, some troopers, and an office with mood lighting? Well, soon you'll have your chance to prove it. Creative Assembly is expanding their Total War series into the galaxy far, far away, although there's no timeline regarding release. This news will be welcomed after the cancellation of their loot shooter Hyenas last fall. The decision by Sega led to deep job cuts of the game developer. The new Star Wars game is one of three Total War games in development, so despite the recent turbulence, the award-winning studio is on the up. In exciting news for Star Wars fans, a new promo for the Acolyte has come about. What makes this promo so special is the live-action introduction of the Light Whip. Light Whips first appeared in the old 80s Star Wars Marvel comics, and have been present within the Expanded Universe for years, as well as the High Republic books. And now we finally get to see them in live action, commanded by Jedi Master Vernestra Rowe. Time for some fun facts. You would be mistaken if you're going into the Acolyte expecting a bunch of Sith and Darksiders. By the time of the High Republic, the Sith had a hardcore ideology known as the Rule of Two, of which there can only be two Sith at a time, a Master and an Apprentice. This rule was started by Darth Bane, one of the last survivors of the ancient Sith who realized that a Sith's greatest enemy was not a Jedi, but the Sith itself. Did you know that David Lynch was once considered as a director for Return of the Jedi? Before Lucas went with Richard Marquant, he originally considered Lynch to be the director of the final film of his original trilogy. Sadly, the plan fell through and David Lynch would go on to direct another famous science fiction series, Dune. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the Star Wars slate. You can also join our public Discord where we discuss everything Star Wars and Lucasfilm in general. This is Mac, aka Mickey, and may the Force be with you.